Yeah! What's going on everybody? Magic Pat here with Real Beast coming at you today talking about mono versus braid. As you can see here, I've got a bunch of different types of lines in front of me and a few different types of reels. Uh, we're going to kind of go through why we use what we use at Team Real Beast, uh, the situations that we use it, and one of the things that I kind of want to start off with is one of the biggest differences right off the bat is that the price difference between these two got 50 pound test 300 yards of power pro 12 pound test 1100 yards mono this is the trialing big game which we use a lot of around here you're talking about 20 to 30 dollars for the braid eight dollars for the mono major difference right off the bat uh, a lot of times I use bra uh, braid to get the line capacity, but I use the mono for situations where I could lose a lot of stuff just because it's way cheaper to replace the mono than it is the braid. Uh, another big point that I kind of want to hit at here is that the 50 pound test and the 12 pound test are the exact same size diameter. They are both exactly the same size, but you've got 50 pound breaking strain with the braid. So you can take your same bass rod that you've been using 12 pound test mono, you know, using spinner baits, that kind of stuff, put the braid on, and now you can fish heavy cover, pull big bass, big catfish right out of the cover. Don't even have to let them run if you don't want to. As long as your tackle is strong enough to handle that kind of pressure, uh, another thing that I kind of want to hit on is that, especially, <clears throat> especially our team, we love using braid. And one of the big reasons is the line capacity. Like I just said, this 50 pound test, same size as this 12 pound mono. This little small spin fisher, it's a 3500, tiny little reel. Uh, let's see eight pound test it only holds about 200 yards at eight put braid on it you put 20 pound braid 165 yards if you was to go let's say 10 pound braid we'll say 10 pound braid 230 yards which you know i don't know if anybody knows this or not but pin they're a little bit different when it comes to their line capacities on their reels they test most of their reels out in spider wire, which is a little bit thinner than Power Pro. So you actually would get even more line on this reel than what's stated right now. And uh, yeah, it's just, it's crazy how much more line you can put on here. You got eight pound test mono where you have to kind of baby a fish a little bit, especially a larger fish. They don't tire out as easy as a smaller fish. Whereas you could put 10 pound braid on here, have more line, and use a tighter drag and you're probably thinking right now just listening to me you're like well eight pound test mono ten pound test braid it's only a two pound difference you know you really can't go that much harder on a fish when actually another big difference between the braid and the mono the actual breaking strain of braid is way higher than what it actually states like this 50 pound test right here actually breaks closer to 65, 70 pounds. It's crazy what, you know, the strength of this stuff. So you put 10 pound test braid, which I think I've got 15 on this reel. Uh, it's actually gonna break closer to, the 10 pound test is gonna break closer to the 15, the 20. Whereas the 15 that I have on here is gonna break closer towards like the 25, 30 range. You know, just absolutely massive strength difference. Whereas the 12 pound test, you know, you're not gonna get much higher breaking strain than 12. It might get to about 15 pounds. Um, one of the saving graces to mono though, mono stretches. You can have a big fish on, you get straight to the knot, 
you know, which I've had happen. I've had big fish take me all the way to the bottom to the knot instead of just breaking, whereas braid gets to the knot, they pull on it, they're strong enough, they can break it. Mono will actually stretch. Mono stretches, I think, is close to like 15% of its length. So you actually have a lot of give when it comes to fighting a fish. I have literally fought big fish in the ocean off the knot on a spool just off of the stretch that the line gives. Sure, you'll have to replace the line after a fight like that. The, you know, the strength of the line degrades, but you'll land that fish. I mean, unless it's obviously way too big and it, even the stretch can't help you and it just breaks off. I've had that happen too. That's some of the big differences that come in there, uh, the braid and the mono. Uh, one that I, I really like is that braid casts better. Uh, you can actually cast a lot further with braid than you can mono. Uh, this 15-pound uh, test braid that I have on this reel, this is specifically a top water reel for me. I love throwing giant um, stick baits and stuff for big stripes, big bass. Uh, I go to the ocean and throw a lot of uh, gotchas and things like that. And um, trying to catch big Spanish and like sometimes every once in a while a king braid, it throws a mile. Not literally a mile, but it, it throws like, at least three times as far as the mono. Of course, you know, you'll probably get people that say, well, I can cast, you know, just as far with mono that I can, people can with braid, but, you know, it goes into the length of the rod, weight of the lure, that kind of stuff. If I was to take two of these exact same reels, one full of mono, one full of braid, the braid's going to outcast the mono every single time, especially now that they have a lot of casting braids like this one that's on here. It's also Power Pro, but it's the super slick. It's made to get really far distances when you cast. It's actually really soft compared to the uh, the older, just straight moss green. This is rougher. Uh, this is more towards like bottom fishing, whereas this is actually casting lures and stuff like that. Um, of course, the mono is a lot more forgiving than the braid. Uh, braid has no stretch, which is good for a hook set. You barely have to put any kind of pressure into it, and it just drives the hook home, where it's mono because of the stretch. You have to set a lot harder to get the hook in the fish's mouth. But at the same time, because there's no stretch on the braid, you set the hook too hard or a fish hits too hard, it can't snap the line. It causes kind of a shock in it, like a tension. Whereas mono, you set maybe a little too hard or the fish hits incredibly hard and you weren't ready for it, the line will stretch and kind of cushion itself and like actually saved me on a lot of fish which comes to one of the uh, big points in how we fish most of my stuff I have braid I have it for the line capacity like you know strictly line capacity I, I love fishing smaller reels for bigger fish it's a lot better fight um, I like using really strong reels these smaller reels have like 25 pounds of drag more than enough for most fish you know I've got like I think uh, I actually have about 220 yards of 15 pound braid on here was what I finally got on the uh, the spool but I like to use a mono top shot which if you don't know mono top shot or a top shot in general is where you have your normal fishing line on your reel and you actually take another different kind of line and splice it into the top either by a knot or actually splicing through hollow core braid. Um, and so most of us at the uh, the team, we use a mono top shot. That way you get the best of both worlds. You get line capacity, great breaking strength of the braid, whereas the mono, which will go with a, if I'm using 50 pound test braid, I'll use a 50 pound test mono just to keep it pretty close to the same strength you know, you have the abrasion resistance of the mono. If you get hung up, fish gets you underneath a dock, you, know, you don't lose him. You pull him back out from underneath there, hopefully, unless you pull a hook, which that can be a problem. That happens with braid. You can pull hooks if you're using just straight braid, just because the sheer force that you're putting on a fish with braid. Uh, the mono top shot, if you lose it, fish gets you hung up, you can't get him out, he breaks you off, no big deal. It cost me $8 for this spool. 
you know i could get that all day at you know anywhere walmart uh you don't have to go to a specialized fishing store to find mono you know maybe for you know heavier uh, pound tests like this 80 that we use for the leader material for cat fishing but you know even my big shark rigs that you you see in some of our little videos uh, i've got 1800 you know 2000 yards of braid you know 100 150 pound braid about 150 200 yards of you know I've, right now i've been using lighter mono I've been using about a 100 pound test i'm actually moving it up but uh yeah we'll put a 100 pound test 130 pound test mono on the the top shot and you get the uh abrasion resistance especially there's a lot of sandbars you, you get cut on sandbars a lot with braid mono it'll wear a lot better you'll still get the fish in uh, a lot of times other fish will see your line and hit it a lot of times the mono is okay uh makes a big difference you know especially when like this the stretch in the mono helps slow the fish down but then you have the the line capacity of the braid you know you're talking about 2,000 yards of braid if you lose the mono in front like i said it's not a big deal i think like if i was using this 80 pound test i think it cost me 15 16 bucks for this spool you're talking 300 yards of it so that's a another major point between the two then you get into like your specialty line like fluorocarbon and this is actually if i use straight braid and i don't want to use a mono top shot because one of the problems is is a mono top shot takes away from uh, the line capacity instead of having 300 yards of 20 pound braid and 100 yards of uh, 30 pound mono i could just do 400 yards of braid and in certain situations where it allows just use a fluorocarbon leader fluorocarbon disappears in water it refracts light braid this moss green it sticks out like a sore thumb uh, i do bass fish with this bass don't seem to care as much i still like to use the fluorocarbon leader you get more bites with it um, and it's tougher than normal uh mono just because it's actually got a hard coating most monos are a soft core this is a hard core you know less stretch you know you're not going to get as much stress uh, but you're not using this whole spool on a reel i mean you can if you're like you need the the extra distance between your tackle but most of the time especially let's say like i'm using this for cat fishing and i just need a little bit in between you're talking about two and a half three foot of leader and i'm good to go you know the lure or the baits down here my braid expensive braid is up here if this gets broke off this is more expensive than mono but you know it, it actually makes up for itself in the fact that you get more bites because it becomes invisible in water uh, this is actually pretty close to the price of braid but this is also just kind of a specialty situation you're only going to use two or three feet at a time 25 yard spool i've had this stuff last me four or five trips especially i use it a lot in the ocean i've had four or five trips and this stuff just lasts uh, it's really good i i really love using it uh especially in combination with braid that way i can keep the same amount of line on the spool i don't have to make a special top shot like i did on this one you know i bottom fish with this a lot of times for grouper and small snapper and stuff so kind of want the extra mono uh in situations i don't need that like i'm fishing for redfish i use the uh just a fluorocarbon leader piece you know two three foot sometimes i've used up to 10 foot if the fish are really spooky but i mean 10 foot i mean this stuff lasts forever uh that's really the the big difference is most of our big catfish reels that we use and you've seen in videos we use braid even though it's around a lot of rocks and structure and it can get cut off we fish reels with really high drag capacities i mean even this little reel right here is 20 25 pounds of drag most of our fish at the river we're fishing our drags almost locked down trying to stop them from getting in structure so with the braid we don't have to really worry too much we can fish oversized line on a smaller reel just stop the fish cold even big catfish you know you've seen in the video uh amax big catfish that 55 pound catfish 
didn't fight very hard. You know, it, I mean, it fought hard, but he didn't go anywhere. We had that huge reel locked down, and with the braid, you can do that. Um, in situations where we don't have to worry about it, we'll fish lighter line. You know, I'm going down, as a matter of fact, next week to go ocean fishing, and I'm going to be fishing a lot of uh, open water off the pier. Don't have to worry about locking it down. Uh, you can actually fish a little bit lighter line, fight the fish a little bit better, bring them in a little bit more tired, close to the pier, so you don't have to worry about them running you underneath. Uh, you don't have to worry about him going out there and finding, you know, a rock pile or anything. It's mostly sand. So, you know, it, it depends on the situation and how it calls for it. Uh, but that's mostly it, you know. Bass fishing, I've even started using braid bass fishing. I've uh, been doing it for years, actually. But uh, it was strictly just frog fishing and, like, flipping into heavy cover. Now, because fluorocarbon, that's another point, just thought about it. Fluorocarbon sinks. Mono floats, braid floats. Fluorocarbon sinks. If I'm using a diving lure, mon regular mono and, reg and just braid, they're going to take away some of the depth of the lure. If it dives 15 feet, now it can only dive 12 feet, you know, 10 feet. Fluorocarbon, I can use braid on my bass reel, use a longer piece of fluorocarbon, you know, 8 to 10 feet, and it's still going to let your lure go down to the depth it's supposed to, but you're actually fishing heavier uh, line, heavier drag now. And uh, there's just a lot of different neat little things. I, w I didn't have a chance to get any of the uh, suffix, the 832. That's a, that's a sinking braid. They now have braids that sink, so you actually don't even have to worry about bass fishing. If you want to go straight braid to a lure, the lure will still dive correctly. Um, you know, technology and fishing, it changes every year. There's no telling what's going to come out. Um, and of course, whatever comes out, however it comes out, we're going to try to be the first to show you and let you know how we use it. And we actually look forward to having some more videos coming up here soon. We're going to have the video for the $20 challenge. It's a little bit rocky. But, um, yeah, as a matter of fact, I'm going to be taking my little setup to the ocean to give it a try. Uh, anyway, as always, you know, good fishing, and we will catch you all later.